All right, you guys, quite a bit happened last episode, and I think we're finally getting into that maybe last part of the game here. We just got through everything that happened with Shizuka. We found out about his sister, found out about some of the secrets of the school. Quite a bit has happened. Uh, so if you haven't seen last episode, go ahead and watch that first, because you'll need that context for everything that's happening right now. Uh, but we are talking to Rito. I guess we just got back a few minutes ago, and she wants to know if we've had another accident or incident. Personal matter. Shrugging her shoulders slightly, she glances at Amaro and me, who are sitting behind her. I mean, yeah, to be fair, if you, if you said to suit yourselves, then yeah, I'm just gonna go along with it. Yeah, you did. Muko's temples throb. However, she ignores this and continues talking as if she didn't want to start another argument. What is required to activate it? Muko adopts a slightly more formal tone than usual as she speaks to Rito, who has her head tilted to the side. Isn't,あれを分室の扉で試しに使ってみた時のことです。友人のいる場所へと思いながら使ったのですが、繋がったのはそのまま特殊分室で、その場にいた三人は誰も探している人物ではありませんでした。どういう結果だと考えられますか？
She says that once we arrive back at the office. She sounds a little troubled. She's saying that we don't have to treat it as a touchy topic. Oh, well, that's good. I mean, I would like it if we could openly talk about it, because we'd like to help you find your friend. I'm a bit relieved. If you can say something like that, then you're probably fine. For someone of her intellect, I'm sure she came up with several possibilities as to why the key didn't work. She had already figured out the worst possible scenario a long time ago. It's fine if you don't want to tell us, but are you looking for that Matsuki person? She hesitates for a moment, but opens her mouth in the end. Oh, she's actually being forthcoming about it. That's good. She's actually just being very open. Was she your partner? Hi. Did she ever end up talking to the principal about that? I don't know if she asked. I think she just asked about why the uh, realm of night was so important, but she never got to ask that. If she suddenly vanished, then wouldn't people have noticed? Okay, I mean, fair enough. I, I would still ask the principal. I think the principal knows a lot of things that apparently other people don't. And maybe that was, you know, under that kind of secret, we have to keep this from everybody kind of deal. Yeah. She sounds like she's ready to give up. She's about ready to give up and is forcing herself to come to terms with it. Wait, wait. Don't give up. Even today we went to the weird place that only appears right before nightfall. It's possible there's more than one place like that here. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, this is a, a magical school. Surely there's plenty of hidden little nooks and crannies around. So, so I mean, but we have to be realistic. If she was trapped in a place like that, she wouldn't have food or anything. Is that, it's that principle we're talking about here. She's probably got tons of secrets up her sleeve. That is true. I think if anything's true, that... That's the most true sentence. There's still a chance that she's in a place that the key can reach. Hmm. I don't know. It's 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 a good and bad thing that they're giving her hope. They could be giving her false hope and leading her to fall fall further down, you know? It's like kind of like having your friend keep walking up a staircase only for it to just be an abrupt edge at the end and they have to fall all the way down. So you could be leading them up to something great, or you could be just leading them down to fall further. Uh, I would like to assume that she's still alive. I, I think story-wise, probably she is, or at least we're going to get something interesting to go along with how she passed away. Uh, I think either way, it's important that we continue to look for her. I, I think at the very least. There's a sliver of light in her eyes as she tries to restrain something. So... Expression on her face is gentler than usual. There we go. We'll help you out. We're a team after all. Hold up. Is do I do my eyes deceive me? Is that a smile? A smile on the face of Ushio. Hmm. Interesting. It's the first time I've ever heard her laugh. Yeah, it was interesting seeing that flashback of her in Mitsuki, because she used to laugh a lot. She used to be pretty shy. Episode Find Truth. Okay, let's go. I'm excited about this. I'm trying to find some truth, you know what I'm saying? It's been several days since then. There haven't been any incidents worthy of mention. And we've been enjoying our time in peace. That means something's gonna happen, isn't it? 
whenever there's too much happiness going on, you already know. Due to her duties as a scapegoat, Tsubaki chan is exempt from making her rounds after school. In her stead, Murakumo has been relaying messages to us from the remaining disciplinary committee members. It'll be a little longer before he arrives at the bureau. The White Ghost hasn't appeared on campus anymore and the rumors about it have died down. Muko's been looking into places with the key of Yenis. Uh, been looking into places where the key of Yenis wouldn't be able to reach, but right now we're doing something completely unrelated to that. Does she have the key or is she just looking into places she thinks it wouldn't be able to go? Because I'm like, if the key can't go there, then how would you get there? Yeah, it should be fine. I don't know where she brought up some sort of spell book and said she wanted to try it out. Okay. Her reasoning was that she wanted to figure out whether there's a way for us, having a little man of our own, to be able to be used miss. Carrying the tome she borrowed from Rito, she's using chalk to draw words, which are in some language I've never seen before, and symbols onto the floor. Won't you collapse if you don't have enough mana? Magic circle. Hmm. Is it like a perfect circle, you know? Is that what makes it magical? That it's so, like, perfectly drawn that it shouldn't be possible? It has a drawn uh, design similar to that one that was inside the clock tower. Okay, that'd be cool. Just kind of use mana from your surroundings so you don't have to draw it all from yourself. I would imagine that's going to be a concept we'll see more as we go on, because I feel like as far as human individuals go, it doesn't seem like they have a lot of mana. Maybe like a select few do. It seems like most people just don't have a lot. Well, she says so. Brimming with confidence, she steps inside the magic circle she drew. She looks at the palms of her hands and waves her hands around she says that. So where's the mess? In the bag lying on top of the desk, she takes out a wooden box with a talisman still plastered on it. Are you going to use the feather? Corvus Albus, the mist that forces someone to answer questions. I thought she had already returned to the library. Of all the ones you could have chosen, I'm begging you, don't let it go out of control. I won't mince words out of all the mists we've dealt with that have gone berserk. This one I hated the most. <laughs> How did he get that uh, feather out of him? I guess he... It'd be a simple question, such as what is your gender? Sounds wise. Uh, I will say the one flaw in this plan is that it's 2023, and uh, asking someone what gender they are, who knows what kind of answer you're going to get. Me? She asked me about a second thought, coming straight out of left field at point at myself with my jaw dropped. That is true. Oh, now that you mentioned it, and I did. It completely slipped my mind. The feathers from when Murakuma used it on me is still there. Okay, good. We're acknowledging that, because I was like, it did? I don't think it was used. Makes sense that using someone who's already been pricked would use less mana. Can we be pricked again? Or are you just activating it, the one that's already on me? How's that work? I think that's how it works. No, actually, if he's already pricked and she's holding the box, then it'll go for her. Okay. I see. Alright, fine. I don't want her to collapse from having to find a new target to prick just because I'm whining about it. Well, she said it'd be a simple question, so it's no skin off my back. She cautiously peels the ceiling talisman off the box. She opens the box, white soft feathers bulge out and dance in midair a short distance above it. Muka doesn't seem to be in pain as she stands in the middle of the faintly glowing magic circle. 
Oh, if it's glowing, then it's probably working, I would imagine. Looks like it won't be going out of control this time. Really, I can't feel anything stabbing into me at all. <laughs> Turning my gaze downwards, I catch the tip of the gray feather flitting in and out of my vision. I wonder if she's going to genuinely just ask a simple question, or if she's going to ask something a little bit more tricky. She calls out to me, and I face her. In a clear and confident voice, she asks. Oh, okay, spicy. I like it, because clearly he has some other kind of name he goes by. Okay, okay. My thoughts freeze for a moment. She got me. <laughs> oh, that smug look. There we go. Okay. Unexpected? A little unexpected here. Ooh, okay. No, I, I try to retaliate. The words won't come for, out from my mouth no matter how much I move it. Michi? So did he not BS the other uh, question he got asked? Hmm, so he really wasn't hiding anything? I don't know, just the way the way they worded that whole thing made it really seem like he was like somehow tricking it. Like he really did have latent powers that he wasn't owning up to. Okay, what is his name? I mean, he's not Matsuki, right? Like, Matsuki... I, I was under the impression that Matsuki is a girl, but the way they play around with gender in this, because apparently it's a little bit more complicated in Japanese, I don't know. Like, they, I wasn't too sure about that. I thought Matsuki was a girl, but I have no idea. Who talks with a composed air while Amara was confused.思い出してみてください。村久保君の使ったミストを破った時、彼は言ったでしょう。俺は小が道ちるじゃないと。え、うん。うん。オッケー。オッケー。なぜミストが突然聞かなくなったのか。その一番簡単な理由は、彼が本
I reply writing on my own self despair. Okay, so he's not Mutsuki. Okay, that, I just wanted to clear that up. I didn't really think he was, but I was like, I thought Mutsuki was a girl. If she says it like that, it means she's figured everything out, including everything I'm trying to cover up. Okay, I see. Yep, I, I was wondering how we got out of that, because I'm like, there was definitely blue birds, so how the frick did he get away with it? I'm like, is that some kind of technicality? Like, oh, I mean, I didn't see the blue birds, but there was blue birds, you know? Okay. 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 Yeah, I didn't. Michiru told me about it. Just why I wasn't lying when I was answering Murakuma's question. He, he was mistaken when he thought I was using some sort of unknown magic to hide my powers. She's bent on revealing all the steps she took. She knows the answer, and yet she's purposely doing this, explaining each and every little detail, which I'm so glad she's doing. I need to know. Yeah, his uh, non-alcoholic beer. Were they actually beer? Is he actually, like, way older? <laughs> Is that the plot twist? <laughs> Exactly, they were real beer, but he wasn't breaking any laws because he was over the age. You sure remember the randomest things? Oh, I'm not used to calling him Mitsuyoshi now. I gotta start doing that. I mean, I could just still call him Koga. That would make it easy, but... だって飲んでいい年ってことは、えっと、俺より Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to hide it by outright admitting it is a bit embarrassing, so I say it in a somewhat sulky tone of voice. <laughs> That's his concern. <laughs> I haven't been addressing you with the proper honorifics, you know? What a terrible person I am. It's not like you were totally lying to me about who you are. It's fine, kind of late for that now, anyways. Oh, that's kind of weird. Because let's go under the assumption that some of these characters are not of age, okay? That means he's a grown man having... Yeah, that's, that's a little weird. Not unheard of. Not unheard of for these visual novels, though. So I'm not going to think too much about it. The, the, I don't really, I don't really think the ages matter in this, because they they always say, oh, all the characters are over eighteen, even though I just said his exact age is not eighteen. I'm asked the question on everyone, ask the question on everyone's minds, and I can't help but hesitate for a bit. How should I go about answering this? Okay. Who interrupts? Oh. So the principal was right. Koga Michiru is a Maggie. But that wasn't Koga Michiru. Okay. だから、マルクの第自分が小神チルの不良をすることによって本物の小神チルを守った。必見過保護とも思えるような行動ですが、根底にマギを隠蔽する目的があるのなら。Would uh would this school seem way too shady work as a reason? 
If a family member told you that they suddenly received a school's prospectus and that birds flew out from it, wouldn't you stop them too? そんな入学案内など無視をすればいい。無視ができなかったのは、そこに何らかの力の存在を感じたからでしょ。学園が分かっていてこが道中にあの入学案内を出したのでは、と考えると、そのまま放置しては置けなかった。違いますか？ Okay, so instead of running away from the uh, potential threat, you just kind of took matters into your own hands. You kind of manipulated the field a little bit. Interesting. That means he tricked everybody, including the principal. Which I don't feel like she's too easy to trick. And when they let out a sigh, she takes that to mean that she was correct and grins again. It exceeded my expectations. I'm not used to her smiling like that. Wait. Mitchie is the one who is the one who is the one who is the one who is the one. Yeah, what about it? His face turns pale when he approaches me. That is true. Yeah, the school is a very difficult disease. That is true. That is true. He remembered. I glance at Muko and her face is saying that she was planning on asking about that as well. Yes, she said it. The school is a good thing to you. Yeah, I guess. I'm fine. As you can see, it doesn't really hinder my daily life. Meals do get a bit more complicated, though. What kind of sickness do you have? I wish I had that. You really are a sharp one. It's a fairly strange symptom. So I'm amazed by your extensive knowledge of perception. What? It's an illness where all the muscles in my body develop on their own. I won't last unless I'm supplied with a lot of calories. So you just need to eat a lot. That, well, there are so many people who already do that without having an illness. And you get insanely strong muscles. I, I mean, I understand that would be kind of like a, a burden, I guess, if you didn't want that. But most people would not complain about this. I mean, I, at least in my eyes. Am I being insensitive here? I feel like this is just a win. You just have to eat more. But all of your muscles are developing on their own. They're getting stronger. You're just insanely strong. You just have to eat a lot. I mean, that's kind of what happens when you develop a lot of muscles, I would imagine. You have to eat more calories. Yeah, well, it's not as severe as you think it out to be, so calm down. You don't even have to go to the gym either! I see this as an absolute win. Okay, I can see this being the downside. If you have parts of your body that are developing when they should not be technically developing, that could be dangerous. Okay, I'll, I'll acknowledge that that's probably the downside. Yeah. Okay, I, I get that part. Okay. Don't mention something like that to the guy who was who was worried sick just a second ago. Okay, I mean, I do agree with Bushio. We do need to be more forthcoming with our stuff, since she's being forthcoming with telling us about Matsuki a little bit, you know? Then they raises her voice as she's done before. She stares straight at me. Her face is saying that she won't accept anything except for the truth. Uh, you, you don't have to get mad. Okay, okay, I got it. I bring the checkups for my heart, so it's fine. At the very least, it's normal right now, so I won't be dying anytime soon. I mean, do they, do they have precedent for other, you know, things like that growing? I mean, is it just his muscles, maybe? Um, because he's implying, like, every part of his body grows, or is expanding, in a way. I mean, yeah, that could definitely be dangerous, because certain things are not meant to, to do that. So it's fine, don't I look healthy right now? Mm. So, so is it a bad thought that I want to watch the H scenes just to see if another certain part of his body has expanded? Is that a dumb thought to have? <laughs> is this dude packing? Is that's that's really what I want to know. 
anxious and pale more of on the relaxes. That'd probably explain why he's so tall, too. I mean, but he is older as well. I'm sorry for keeping quiet. There's nothing else, really. So he's not a, a Mackie. Okay, that's what we need to know, because it's his younger brother. So please, can you keep this between us? Everything. I don't think it'd be a good idea to have everyone know that I'm an imposter. That's sus. We should eject him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No more word if they tried to get the real Mitra to come here. Well yeah, I mean his whole motivation was to protect his brother, right? Of course, I came all this way to just to prevent that. Yes, we all have our secrets. I wonder what uh, Omaro's is. It's going to be some weird fetish, I know. Because he said he Oh, I don't have any weird fetishes. He said it really nervously like he does. <laughs> like he's totally lying. But? Oh, that's nice. We can still be called Michi. You need to stop worrying so much. It's fine. Hmm. Who's that supposed to be? What is this handshake? It looks like we're about to do a thumb war. We're just like... That's probably the weirdest handshake I've ever seen. Likewise, I, I mean, I guess we're doing like that. Is that because our hand's so much bigger than hers? I don't know, though. Look, it just looks funny. <laughs> She's changing it. Likewise, Muko. Give me goosebumps. Fully set yourself up for it. Never thought I'd feel so uncomfortable hearing her say that. I guess that means we've gotten used to each other's personalities. Eh, Don't say it. <laughs> if you don't, I'm calling you a Maro-chan from now on. Alright, we're calling him a Maro-chan from now on. Anyways, pleasure to be working with you, a Maro-chan. It's one thing what I'm saying, but it sounds pretty ridiculous coming from him. The things people can do once they get used to something. Our future is so bright, don't you think? You're just imagining things. Her expression isn't as harsh as her words. It took a long time, but our team is finally taking shape. Or at least I hope it is. We just need Shizuka in here now. And it's going to be great. To the next episode, Leyline. Was that the end? Because I thought this was going to be the final. But it sounds like there's still more. Our team at the Bureau is finally starting to take shape. It's been a few days since I came to the conclusion. Classes have ended for the day and we're having a review meeting in our office. In case you're wondering, we're having one. Why we're having one? We sealed a miss yesterday, but Muka's being particularly strict. Yeah, that's been every single time. But it's worked out every single time as well. I did think about it beforehand. I thought it was a bad idea, but I still went with it anyways and it worked out. <laughs> Bullpoles. I'm tired of digging these holes, Grandpa. Well, that's too damn bad. Everything turned out fine, and it, nothing happened in the end. Alright, I understand, and I'll change absolutely nothing. Inconvenious <laughs> is us. Me, in particular. <laughs> you're the only one that's bothered by it, because you're very OCD about how we do things. 
because we were taking way too long to explain things, Wuko. I like how our whole bickering has changed from, uh, I don't know, just like a level of distrust that came from between us is to now we trust each other so much that we're talking just like us and Shizuka. We've like completely changed our dynamic. Oh no, not again. Oh, that's funny that we're bringing this one up again. But it worked out we managed to see it properly. Are we going to acknowledge Kasumi here? I, I don't think she was here before. リトさんの説明だと誰かにキスしてもらわないと戻らないって話でしたから。なんだか女の子好みの出演者のミストなのね。ところで、村久保さんはどうしてここに？向こうフォローするバーエシアイズ、村久保さん。No、すみちゃん
Well, if they're anything like the uh, people from Star Wars, they're probably not going to hit any targets anyways. So, what in the world? It's just a giant game of laser tag, guys. Don't worry about it. It's a laser tag mist. It's actually really fun. We should just go outside with it. I will say outside laser tag is the best. It's so much fun. I played it in the woods one time, like... For a friend's birthday party, and it was great. It was the most fun I've ever had. We don't have time to waste talking. A light beam shoots out from the window and hits a girl who's walking down below. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> She's freaking died. She stops moving and while trembling slightly stares at the boy walking in front of her. Her eyes grow wide and she approaches the boy. Oh no, this is so stupid. Why is everything so stupid? <laughs> Watching from a place where the light beams won't hit, but we all got the gist of what's going on. Oh, you have experience with it. That's great. That's, that's really funny. You can save the trip down to Rio San. Alright, I want us to just go. Let's just rush in. No no regard. Yeah, yeah, wait, you're only telling me. I'm insulted. I, I'm so insulted. How, how dare you? I'm, I'm not the only one who rushes in, am I? Damn. Damn, she's a goddess, good. You got us good. Shut up, Aaron boy. Oh, we got him back. We clapped back. That sounds like an Aaron boy to me. No, we don't. We have nothing better to do than, than to tease him right now. I was exactly right. Arguing with Furukumo isn't going to change what's on our hands. We probably have the same thing in mind since he closes his mouth. Let's go over Muko. I see that her facial expression is saying, are you two finished yet? No, we're never finished. She sighs. She gives a sigh of disbelief and proceeds to explain. Cupid's bow. What a fitting uh, name for a mist. Cupid, you mean the that god of love? Yeah, that's the meaning. It went crazy when they were trying to shoot a golden arrow, huh? Now that the user is unconscious, the mist is continually producing arrows while draining their mana somewhere. If we don't take care of the soon, they'll be in serious danger. Why was there no protections built into these mists? Like, why is there so many of these and they're so dangerous because there, there's absolutely no safeties on these it's terrible not only that the situation is going to get worse and worse and they're all kept in a magical school with a bunch of freaking like high schooler college students uh she always tells me not to rush in and i just completely disregard it i mean it wouldn't matter how dangerous it was i just i would disregard it anyways well, I wouldn't want to be hit by one of those things either. Yeah, that's true. That is true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Sounds like a lot of, uh, what would that be, geometry? <laughs> a beam of light heading straight towards us. It must have reflected off something in the hallway. It goes too busy thinking he notices a second too late. Get out of the way, idiot! <laughs> Damn, it hit her so hard she turned into Japanese. My body moves of its own. Accord. Spontaneously, I wrap my arm around her to protect her from running from here. Oh no, did it hit us or did it hit her? I thought it just barely managed to hit me, but it doesn't feel like there's anything to stab me, so I think I'm safe. I missed by a hair's breadth. 
I already said that I'm fine. <laughs> really sure my arms stare intently at her. Strange. Something is not right. What is this feeling? Muko. <laughs> Freaking Chad. Let's go. My body moves by itself. Plot twist here is he didn't get hit by an arrow. He just went for it. Chad moves. Or sexual harassment. You decide. Body uh, moves by itself. I embrace her and forcefully plant my lips onto hers. Muko never got the chance to resist and looks like a deer caught in headlights. <laughs> I love this so much. This is so. This is such a dumb situation. I love it. Oh, you getting into it? Keeping her tightly in arms, she tries to escape, continue to kiss her over and over again. I want to keep experiencing the softness of her lips. Because of that, I'm not able to stop myself. Our lips meet again as she struggles. Hey, good thing is we didn't rush in there, so she can't give a shit about it, right? Right? <laughs> This is a little bit more forceful than some of the um, the other love interest routes. You know, like, it, it was mutual before. This is just kind of rapey. <laughs> I want to feel that softness because I'm thinking that she slaps her in the face, putting an end to my onslaught. I don't know myself, but what I do know is that you're really cute. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I don't know, but for some reason I suddenly thought that she looked really cute. I'm not joking. It's not, I couldn't help myself, but it says you're so cute. Move, no, Ushio-chan. <laughs> I take another look at her. Surely is adorable, I can't help but think that. What's going on? Bothered by the situation, she averts her gaze. I think bothered is putting it lightly. Is it working? Is she actually into us? Is she attracted? I think there's something wrong about this too, but calling you Muko seems so distant. I think that was implied. Or we're just really being a Chad and just going for it. Even though we didn't get hit. Maybe a pain in the ass for you. Does this really surprise guys? Yeah, you should probably figure that one out. Looking out of the hallway, there aren't any more beams of light flying around. Amara and Murakuma get out there to check, and they come back empty-handed. That's because we were the one who fired it. Thinking two steps ahead here. Yeah, we pocketed it. Pretended to just start making out with her, even though we were the one who activated it and shut it off. We didn't. We never got hit. I was literally trying to, to help her. I was trying to defend her. Mariko seems like he's trying to tell me something, but more importantly, Ushio chan. This is the one time I will give him a win, okay? <laughs> This is the best time you're getting a kick out of it. Still not sure what's going on with me. When I see her before my eyes, I'm overcome by the thought that she's unbelievably cute. If this truly is the power of that mist, then it has some fearsome brainwashing powers. But why, Ushio chan? It's such a cute name. I didn't rush out! I thought I was defending you! I literally said, watch out, you know, like, try to get out of the way. I see, I never, uh, knew that you thought about me that way or that you were so worried about me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, what is it? 
I don't know. It's not causing trouble for us. It's causing trouble for you. There's no difference there. I don't like what she's saying to me, but for some reason, I'm not angry. Rather, I'm somewhat glad. Normally, I would be say more in response, but... Oh, jeez, what's going on? It's all because you were spacing out while deep in thought. She looks perplexed. The expression of hers is cute, too. That's all that's on my mind at the moment. I really shake it off. No, I shouldn't be causing her to... Uh, to make that face in the first place. No, 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 that's not it. Calm down, Mitsuyoshi. What are you thinking? Ushio-chan, wipe that look off your face. Stop looking so distressed. It's making my chest hurt. So in other words, am I being your mood too? However, I want you to smile. How can I get you to do that? Yes, like, probably like twice recently. Who knows? It's actually a really good question. I can't recall there being a time when she had. In any case, I don't want her to look troubled anymore. There was two times recently. You're just jealous because you'll never have what me and Ushio-chan have with Subaki, okay? Curse myself out here too. What are you saying? Shut up, I've been confused for a while though. Are you coming out, my guy? Uh, if it's because of the mist, I can't really control that. He's just having done this. I say that and turn back and stare fixedly at her. <laughs> I love every time this pops up. Because it doesn't pop up every single time he looks at her. It just sometimes pops up. And it's always really nice when it does. Such such great comedic timing. She's way too damn cute. I wonder if I'll be able to make you smile. What should I do for that to happen? Not that you mentioned him, what was it? I'm drawing a blank as to what happened. I get the feeling that something did happen, I just can't remember for the life of me. That's all fine and well, but Amaro and Murkuro are looking at me in shock. Now they're looking at Muko. What did she get hit too? Were we both hit? Why don't we think about it together, Ushio-chan? I'm sure we'll remember sooner with two heads than one. <laughs> Haven't I told you to depend on me more? What? Doesn't mean you can't rely on me. So you would if I were acting normally. Oh, there's no reason to throw a hissy fit back to the main issue. <laughs> You're having some trouble remembering. Just like Muku, I'm pretty sure there's something important I'm forgetting about. Hmm. She really is cute. What is she, an angel? <laughs> I love how he's semi-cognizant of what's going on. But he's just like, oh, damn, she's looking cute today. <laughs> like, he just totally gets sidetracked. <laughs> Okay, so she didn't get hit. She's just, you know, feeling a little weak after being flirted with. I would imagine it just wears off. Boots over Omar's question for a while. She then raises her head while making a fist and smacks the palm of her other hand. Damn, that motion was cute too. Is she sure she's not an angel? Yes. That's gonna be great. We're gonna have to solve this case all the while. We're just in love with Ushio. Everything she does. You're cute when you're apologizing too, Ushio-chan. Gosh, I feel like we're like Neko, constantly just overthinking things and just talking about how, like oh how i love her or you know in neko's case i love him i wish i could don't you understand right now i'm acting like my usual self is he implying that he always thinks about ushia this way he will watch me enough to tell part of the differences in my conduct you don't have to be so embarrassed Hora, Michi!
What a freaking situation to be in. Heading to the library, we find Rito. Despite the size of our party, her expression is unchanged, lacking so much as a hint of a surprise. Yes, we all are together. Yeah, I don't want to be apart from the shield, John. <laughs> uh, don't sigh so deeply like that. I'd like to, too. But it's your fault. Okay, it's not ours. You gotta give her context. She's not gonna know. Ushio-chan, you want to see the original me that badly? Yes. どうやらクピドの弓ってミストにやられたみたいなんだけどよ。どうやったら元に戻る?パチョシだ。金色の矢に当たったのね。それならクピドの弓を封印しないと戻らないわ。<笑> <ファイトシーだ。笑> I figured that's what it's gonna be, and we're gonna have to go on an adventure together with us saying stupid shit all the time. So this Muko dejectedly slumped her shoulders. We have to find that mist immediately. どうにかして見つけねえと、いつまでもこのままってことか。リト、本体の弓の大きさはどれくらいなんだ？これくらい。誰にでも持ち運べるくらいの大きさよ。ということはあの場にいた誰にでも持っていける。ってことそういうことだなあそこにいたやつならまあ大体顔ぶれは覚えてるからなんとかなるといいのですがおいおい大丈夫かよ仕方にマジで使えなくなってねえかいや、yeah, I think she's a little overwhelmed こうなったら俺たちが頑張るしか No, what do you mean? It'll be fun if we all go together あたまいて it's okay, even if you can't help them out, I'll be with you. I'm saying that you can sit back and relax on the SS Mitsuyoshi. <laughs> it's made of mud. Of course not, it's sink. We'd both be useless then. <laughs> so stupid. His, his intelligence dropped as well. It's your fault, you know. Hey, how, how is it my fault? Hey, 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 don't be pointing that finger at me. You put that finger back. This whole situation is so good. Oh, no. Hmm.なこと聞いてどうすんだよ、シガタニ。リトが知ってるわけねえだろ。いえ、その、もしかしたら。心当たりがあるかもみたいな感じで。Oh gosh, her intelligence just dropped too. カラスマ、これはダメだわ。そ、そうですね。ここは俺がしっかりしないと。Seems totally pumped. Will he be okay? This aren't exactly the easiest thing to find, so we should have everyone look for it. On another note, you're really cute when you're the slump too. すみません。what? There's no way I could do that. Gosh, how far have we fallen that we've turned into such a simp? Huh? I kept quiet when you told me to. Doesn't that count? Before I know it, night's already fallen. When did that happen? Uh, just now? We can hear the we can hear the thing ringing. Seems like I'm not the only one who thinks that time passed off like quickly. I can see it on their faces. Having decided that we shouldn't stay out here forever, we lo re relocate to the bureau office for now. I think that's a good idea. Once we get back to the office, we think about how we're going to find the mist. Simichan isn't here anymore, and neither is Tsubaki chan who said that she uh she was waiting for it. They had to use up their mana to allow night to fall, so they're probably resting somewhere. Maro and Murakuma are discussing various things by themselves. Muko is by herself calmly drinking tea. This scene seems different from usual. Anyway, she's cute when she's gracefully drinking her tea, too. Sorry, I couldn't help myself because you look so cute while you're drinking your tea. I gladly become that cup if I could. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my gosh. He's turned into such a simp. I can't. I I love this too much. Why say that she slams the teacup onto the table? <laughs> He's saying some of the funniest shit. It's okay. It's something. If it's something you spilled, then I'll lick it. <laughs> Let's stop while we're so far behind. Oh, it's not like I want to say these things either. Why are you saying it like that? I can't. You're, you're too cute. She's trying to apply logic to this. Oh gosh, who is it? I haven't found a way out, she was ordered to the door. I seem to as well to subside now that she's away from me. To be honest, I don't think I could have handled being like that for much longer. Oh, it's Mayumi. How's it going? Kasuka peeks in from the open door. She caused a mess of trouble when she opened that pocket watch not long ago. Did something happen again? Oh, what brings you here today? Why does everyone lose stuff? Why can nobody just hold on to their things? The disorganized person. However, oh, nothing's happened to her since then, so that's reassuring. Went through a lot during that incident. Muko and I even spent a night together. That was funny, too. Oh, no. You lost your bento. Whatever is going to happen, especially in the Japanese summer heat, that's going to go bad really quickly. It's going to stink. You'll probably find it by then, but... That's an odd thing to displace. You really did. Is it because of a miss? No, we can't tell yet, but it so sure is weird that her lunchbox has gone missing. Probably a classmate got hungry and swiped it. If she suddenly lost it, then this isn't something we can ignore. Honestly, this is something I would leave to Shizuka. He's our errand boy, so it sounds like something he's capable of doing. Perfect. That's what happened. So, the person using the bow fled, but in their fleeing, they ran a lot, so they got hungry. So they swiped the lunchbox, so we'll find both in one fell swoop. Looks like Michi occasionally refers to his original self. That's exactly what they're saying. That's exactly what they're saying. don't say mean things to you, It has. Don't worry, I have faith that you'll be able to find the lunchbox in no time. Let's go look for it together. Together. The two of us. Do you think you can find it on your own, the way you are now? That settles it, then. Let's take care of the mist. Let them take care of the mist. We'll do our best on this together. Okay. <sighs> Having finished what he had to say, Furukumo exits the office with Omaro chasing after him. Muko and I are left behind and she doesn't take her eyes off of me. What's wrong if you stare at me like that, I'll get embarrassed. <laughs> I think that'd be better too. But I want to be together with you, Shio-chan. <laughs> She's so lost. She's like, uh, I'm gonna leave. 
先輩あいえ何でもありませんお見苦しいところを見せてしまいましたね What do you mean? It's a great side of you. It's wonderful. どこか具合でも少々思考がまとまりづらくて Just say you're sick. That's what everybody does. Anyways, could you give me some more details? You said that your lunchbox disappeared from your bag, right? Oh, it was magic. Muko repeats Kasuga's words in a daze, yet there's no way this is going to work. She's not listening at all. It'd be faster for me to question her. But you have forgotten it in your drawer. That's not true. I was making a song with my wife together, but... えーと、たまに猫ちゃんのお弁当も作るんで。Hmm. Lunch for Neko, huh? 朝に猫ちゃんにお弁当を渡したので、学校に持ってきてるのは確実なんです。I solved it. She ate the lunch you gave her and she was still hungry, so she snatched yours too. Case solved. When did you first realize that you were missing your lunchbox? わかりません。2年目の授業が終わった時にないことに気づいたんですけどでも period, huh? 気づくまで私一度も教室から出てないしカバンも机の横にかかったままでした見てないです、うん okay, ごめんなさいよろしくお願いしますあ,あい,いえお気になさらず Are you sure you're、okay? Oh, fine, fine. After seeing Kazuka off back to her classroom, we pay a visit to Rito. I don't think she'll know anything about a lunchbox, but it's still a lost item, so we might as well. Ara, Mata Kitano, ne? Nanika Sagasimono Kashira. Hi, Obento Bako Sagastimasu. Obento Bako. So this. You could ever see him a senka? That is entirely too vague. Obento Bako Nara. Yeah, we should ask, like, what does it look like? So we forgot to ask what it looked like. Hokani Smova Nino, Donna, Obento Baco de Stake, but as Niva Vacara Niva, Obento Baco Nano, Tashka Nandesiga, Skunactomo, Kono Tosuka Niva, Obento Baco, a night or more, yo. So this you. The level of intelligence has dropped. Like, our level of intelligence has dropped to the level of the average uh, Redditor. She really okay. She's acting way too differently from usual. Look, are you sure you're not feeling sick or anything? The difference between you right now and your normal stuff self is like night and day, so of course I'd be worried. But I didn't do anything. You don't need to get so agitated, but that's cute too. それをやめてくださいと言っているのです。An embarrassed Ushio Chan, how adorable! <laughs> <laughs> We're just going for it again. The cuteness makes me impulsively embrace her. やめてください。やめて。I want to kiss you because how cute you are. かわいいからと言って、何でもかんでもするものではありません。I'm not doing whatever I want. してるじゃありませんか。いや、いや。Hey yo. なんですか。Are you trying to kill me by making my heart jump out from my chest? You keep making all these cute sounds. <laughs> Finished all myself back since she refused. But what was with that no? I know that what that was a little bit extra. That's on you, Ushio. <laughs> Rito's like, can you leave? <laughs> I didn't need to see that. Is that all you had to ask? Yes. Yes. Rito's acting as if nothing happened at all. <laughs> She's like, I've already seen some shit. This doesn't faze me. It's weird for me to say this, but I'm impressed at how she's able to keep her cool when she witnessed all of that. You don't care about what just happened just now. She's just completely erased it from her memory. She's used a mist that just... She's gone into the circle. The magical circle. She's like, I forgot everything that's happened the past three days. <laughs> I'm glad that she's unfazed, to be honest. Uh -huh. Then we need to ask about the mess. 
Well, the lunchbox suddenly disappeared into the thin air. Shouldn't we ask if there's at least a mist that can do that? There's, I guess we'll have to go ask around after all. Could we hold hands? Is that a JoJo reference? It's now recess for the Night Realm students, so there are lots of them wandering around. It's the perfect opportunity to do some questioning. <laughs> You're cute, Ushio-chan. I want to kiss you, Ushio-chan. I want to hug you, Ushio-chan. <laughs> Which one is supposed to be the answer? I genuinely don't know. Like, I kind of want to look it up because I'm like, these are all the same. Is there is there one that matters more than the other? I have no idea. Uh, okay, it... The the guide says I need to say I ki I want to kiss you, but I don't know what the difference is. Is that supposed to appeal to her more? She wants to kiss us, so. It's just not the time for that. I'm being completely serious right now. I am a little sorry. You're t uh, talking about the lunchbox, right? Probably the students from her class then. You see me in a new light now. Looks like I'll have to keep trying. Oh gosh, not Neko. Let's not add to the embarrassment here. Freya comes up to us while we're talking. This reminds me, she's Kazuga's classmate. Kazuga said that she made lunch for Freya and gave it to her, so she'd probably know something. Oh, Freya, great timing. お弁当箱を探しているんです。お弁当箱ですか。はい。お弁当箱です。どんなですか?どんなでしたっけ?なんかしょびあ、small <laughs> one. I think you need to take a break. <laughs> This, oh, this whole thing is so crazy. No, I don't. There's nothing to worry about. I can't help but worry about so you. Though. Oh, you know, I'm yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, Ushio Chan and I are the same as always, right? It's nothing, yeah. Totally. If we tell that to every single person we see, we're gonna get calls all day. Like, oh yeah, I saw a lunchbox today. It was in my backpack. Crazy, right? I ate some lunch out of it. It was really good. Should have been there. If she had Chan being polite is cute, too. Okay, I'd go anywhere with you, Shiva-chan. Uh, I feel like Zenitsu right now from Demon Slayer. Such a simp. Nezuko chan! In the end, I'm not sure if we managed to obtain any useful information. Actually, did we even get for you any concrete details other than it being a lunchbox? We told her absolutely nothing. That's a small lunchbox. That doesn't tell anybody anything. I think we probably could have phrased our questions better, but honestly, my brain's not working as well as it should be. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Yeah, this was such a bad idea. I don't know why anybody thought this was going to work. Not me, whenever I would view Ushio-chan. Oh gosh, we're just going to run into every single person and embarrass ourselves. Walking in the hallway, having not found the lunchbox, we come upon Aiba-san and Hina-san. That's great, let's ask them about it. Hina-san and Iba-san. Or Iba. I, I keep saying Iba. Iba. Sorry. Hey, you two. Oh, oh, 
<laughs> I like how we just have this conversation so far away. <laughs> we approach them quickly, explain that we're in the middle of searching for something. <laughs> We're looking for a lunchbox. Do you have a lunchbox? <laughs> the level of IQ has just dropped so drastically. Like, even, even I feel smart right now. I don't think they understand what the other is talking about. I get the feeling that Eva-san's thinking the same thing. Her face says it all. あの、ひな。何クミちゃん。そのお弁当箱ってひなのだよね。うん。ひなのお弁当箱。お弁当箱を持っていませんかと聞かれたので、お弁当箱を持っていますと答えてもらいます。This oh. this hurts the brain. Well, she technically does. She never said whose lunchbox specifically. あの、多分探してるお弁当箱のことは私たちにはわからないと思うよ。そうですか。ありがとうございます。見かけたら声はかけるよ。どんなお弁当箱なの？どんな？Having been asked point blank by Eva-san, Muko finally realizes that we should have asked what it looked like. Yes, we said this a while ago. However, she seems to be at a loss. Well, that's to be expected. We forgot to ask Kazuga. We could at least say whose lunchbox it is, so they could have somewhat of an idea. I don't even know what lunchbox it is. I'm expecting next time we talk to someone for her just to say it's something else. I don't know what it is. ほら、もうすぐお昼だし、その時に変なお弁当箱ないかちょっと気にしておくよ。お弁当食べるときに、久美ちゃんとおかずの交換したい。Oh <笑> What? But why? Oh, let's have lunch together, then. If we can't trade, then it'd be nice if we could at least eat together. <laughs> Let me eat you instead! I can't with this. It's so dumb. <laughs> Ushio-chan. Freaking Eva saw in the background. <laughs> I think she took that the way I did. You don't have to be so scared. I wouldn't be eating you <laughs> literally. Wait, would I? Muko's clearly frightened more than ever before. I know I said it with my own mouth, but I can't blame her. I don't I really shouldn't be saying these things. I can't stop myself from doing so. Kumi-chan. What is that? Why are you so adorable? Oh my gosh. I'm just really surprised she hasn't screamed sexual harassment every time that's happened. I'm, I'm kind of glad she's not one of those characters, but after interviewing Eva san and Hina san, is that what we're calling it in an interview? We go around asking various other students. However, we haven't gotten anything that would seem to be a clue. Actually, there's so little we can tell them that it only serves to leave them confused. <laughs> what should we do now? Muko's unable to think straight. I'm being flooded with some extraneous thoughts that I'm not of much use. There's not much we can do. By the way, we have. Why haven't we broken up yet? That's not what I meant. You could have ditched me and run away a long time ago. Why are you still putting up with me? Please don't sound so relieved. I'm somehow managing to hold it back, but I don't think I can do it for much longer. Reevaluating my current condition, she backs away from me, exercising caution. She keeps her distance from me. I'm less prone to saying strange things, so I'm thankful for that. 
Well, I feel an urge to get closer to her well enough within me. I do my best to keep it in check. You're not performing at your best because of me. So couldn't you go hide somewhere and try to lose me? That's the thing, though. She's enjoying it. And take this chance while I still have control over myself. Yeah, is that so? What is she saying? She won't leave me alone. Why is she saying something like that? You idiot, I'm doing my absolute best to control myself right now. Oh yeah, is this draining any mana from him? I have no idea. My heart just skipped several beats there. I can't tell if it was because of the mist or whether it was something else entirely. This is not good. If this keeps up, I'm not confident I'll be able to hold on for much longer. Ushio-chan, I... Hey, Muko! Muko suddenly tries to leave the hallway in order to put some distance between us. However, she doesn't pay attention to her footing and steps onto the stairs, seeing that my body moves instinctively. I rush up to her and catch her falling body. Uh, uh, no. Are you alright? While it was partially my fault, she was still way too careless. That was really dangerous, you know. Are you even looking where you're going? Do you say the same things as Mutsuki? Please pull yourself together. Good, at the very least, be more careful when I'm not around. I'll save you if it's possible, like what happened just now. You're the brains of the group, after all. Hasn't really been showing that today. You're not hurt, are you? I want to keep hugging you like this. No matter what. As much as I want to stay like this for a little longer, I'd feel sorry for her if I made her too bad, so I'll let her go. In any case, that was a close one. Was it because she wasn't paying attention and she let her guard down because she was with me? Either way, I'll have to keep an eye on her. This is kind of similar to um, Neko's route. He kind of said something similar to her. Like, I'll have to keep an eye on you because, you know, you're always getting into trouble. <coughs> After some more searching for the missing lunchbox, it's still nowhere to be found. What are we going to do? It's almost lunchtime. Luka looks depressed. I don't want to see her looking like that. I really wish I could find it soon. Ushio Chan is cute when she's depressed, too. Did that lunchbox actually disappear in the first place? Maybe she never brought it on her, brought her own to begin with, or she put it somewhere and forgot about it. Oh, gosh. Oh, Kazuko, what's up? You found your lunchbox. It was in my backpack. <laughs> if we weren't so stupid, we could have just told Neko we could have solved this problem a long time ago. So Freya had both of them. Oh my gosh, so basically you thought it disappeared because you never intended to get both of them in the first place. No, 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 it's great you found it in the end. Hurry up and go eat your lunch. After giving a deeply apologetic bow, she runs off. Muko is dumbfounded as she watches Kazuga leave. Because you literally gave her nothing to go off of. Because you never mentioned it was Kazuga's lunchbox we were looking for. Uh, let's head back to the bureau. Hopefully they were a little bit more successful than we were, because clearly we were not very successful at all. On our journey to the bureau, we find that Amaro and Murakuma are already back. Subichan and Tsubaki-chan are here, too. I'm glad she has enough energy to get out now, that they can kind of both 
live their lives. Thanks. I just find it weird that she's not in a school uniform like everybody else. <laughs> just pretend they don't exist. Are you talking about these two or the other two? <laughs> あたり前みたいにいるからだろうが。まあ、まあ、村くも。すみちゃんもあの場所に一人でいるより、こちらの方が楽しいだろ。ミブさんまで。はあ。She てがかりもまだなしだ。進展がなくて悪い。そうですか。あの騒ぎの後では仕方ありませんね。ごめんなさい。明日も捜索します。はい。Oh <笑> Oh, she knows all too well what kind of mist it is. Being asked simple questions uh, from the two girls tomorrow, Murakuma exchanged glances and grow dejected. Muko also hears a long sigh. えっと、クピトの弓っていうミストで、その弓から出た光の矢に刺された人はおかしくなっちゃうっていう。ミラカン <laughs> <laughs> Sounds lovely. It's been anything but lovely. I'm pretty sure that's a lie. I'm pretty sure it just drops your IQ. That's what it does. And then causes whoever you fall in love with to do the same. Everyone looks towards me all of a sudden. It goes without saying, but it makes me feel extremely uncomfortable. すげえよ。なんでそうなるんだよ。ちょっと、そんなに怒らなくていいじゃん。けんちびかりおにゅ話が進まないでしょ。ああ、いや。もう、ウィウィル。そうですね。いい加減報告を終わらせて明日からどうミストを探すか考えなければ。ウシオちゃん。え?ウシオちゃん。もしかして小学君が最初に見たのはお察しの
Hey, yo, okay, these two are a little bit closer than I thought. With a huge smile on her face, Simi Chan plans, places a hand on Sabaki Chan's shoulder, proceeds to kiss her on the cheek in a manner that seems all too natural. The rest of us are shocked by him, frozen stiff. <laughs> wow, you guys are very close. Holy crap. It's like, dang, we don't get with her, and then she ends up going for our girl. I mean, I, I could see that. I, I could see them being close. You want one too? <laughs> Ushio Chan, me too. I want to give you one too. <laughs> oh, he's just going for every opportunity. He's such a simp. Why? We've already kissed once before. <laughs> Accident. Then let's do it properly. No, not just kisses. Oh, this is cool. My guy is going for it. Hope we can find that missing seal soon. No matter how many times I asked her, in the end, she won't wouldn't let me kiss her. We were to kiss once, I figured one more wouldn't hurt, but I was vehemently refused. <laughs> Wow, you're a big heart. I'm going back with Ushio chan. I'll walk you back. Sorry, I like Ushio chan more based. I'd be worried if she were alone. No. Wait, what? Murakuma's unnecessary words suddenly stop. In another look, I see that Sumi Chan is pulling him by the uniform. You shouldn't interrupt. What? Oh, yeah, we said some very dangerous things. Miku's trying his best, too. Looks like she's on my side. Yes. This whole conversation is so dumb. Smiling as she answers, Subaki Chan puts Murakuma in a headlock. I can't put him in a headlock. Just, <laughs> this whole situation is so dumb. Unable to resist, he stops moving. Actually, isn't his face going paler by the second? Alright, we'll see ya. She's because literally gonna get choked out. Tsuaki chan drags him away. All the while, she and Sui chan have huge grins on their faces. After seeing the three of them off, I turn around to face Muko. I'll walk you back. I like how this game randomly goes into freaking Japanese. I, I feel like there's a lot of little errors like that. Sorry, I want it to be only the two of us no matter what. Please understand. It's not okay. Thanks, let's get going. Why is my name not reverting back? Oh. Oh, they're so gonna have a scene. <laughs> Having lost tomorrow, Muko and I walk back to the dorms together. He seems to be uh, to be pretty considerate, but I'm sure he wanted uh, to stay with us longer. The situation can't end well, but I want to be with her. Crap. Ushio Chan, I'll take you back to your room. <laughs> Did you miss what I said? I'll take you back to your room. <laughs> I want to be with you for as long as possible. <laughs> Let me take you back all the way. I can't. Huh? I'm the one who proposed it, yet she speeds up and walks ahead. I catch up and walk with her side to side. This is like a complete reversal. Well, whatever. Yeah, I'm sure this won't end with anything happening. We soon arrive outside my room. I wanted to be with her a little bit longer, but this isn't the time for that. Thanks for walking me back. Is my name not going to revert back to English? 
I'm just stuck with Japanese. Welcome, I'm excusing Um, Wait, how about some tea before you leave? I see. She declined, but it'll be a bit lonely, but it's not like I can force her to. We won't be spending any more time together today. I feel like a load's been lifted off my shoulders. If we're apart, my symptoms should subside. Probably. All right, then. Sorry for all the trouble I've caused you today. Muko? <laughs> While I'm feeling relieved, she doesn't take her eyes off of me. What's she thinking about? The show runs up my spine because of her good intentions of getting another weird impulse. But what's going on? My chest is. Damn it, despite all she says, she seriously cares about me. My heart starts hurting for real after a bit of thought. I'm unable to remain standing, I fall to my knees and clutch my chest. Muko anxiously squats down next to me and peers in my face. You really shouldn't. If you show me that face... Hey. As I fight back the pain, Muko helps me and brings me up into my room. Oh no. We're just baiting her into it. We're faking an illness. She then seats me on my bed. She looks up at me with great unease. You idiot. Why did you come to my room? Get out of here now. I'm nearing the limits of my sanity. I'm at my wit's end. Please don't stimulate me any further. I have no idea what I'll do. I don't think I'll be able to stop myself either. Please, leave me alone and get out of my room. I don't want to cause you any more grief. Ah, oh, jeez. I grab her shoulders and look straight at her. Startled, her body shakes, but she doesn't try to escape. Why aren't you getting a move on out of here? I've done nothing but cause you discomfort all day. If you really do hate it, then leave. Right this instant. Or could it be that you actually like this? Then get out of here. Think about the situation for a bit, you dumbass. You don't understand. How do you not understand? I'm saying this because I'm worried about you. Do you not see what's going to happen now? Are you oblivious to that too? This woman. You should at least know what a guy would do when he's alone in a room with the girl he loves. I'm begging you, please don't make that face. Hugging the body before me, I kiss her on the cheek and proceed to move with my lips to her ear. I whisper into it. Dang, we're making the moves on her. I love you. I said that I love you. I only felt a bit uncomfortable since you were saying such cute things. I part from her and stare at her, causing her to blush. How many times do I have to keep telling her? If she keeps making that face, I won't be able to hold myself back. You think so? There's no way you know how I normally think about you. Calling you Muko in these circumstances wouldn't be very good, now would it? Ushio. I embrace her and move my face to her as planting a kiss on her lips. I repeatedly kiss her while her body is frozen stiff. I love you, Ushio. Hugging her again, I stroke her hair and her back as our lips meet. I can tell that she's slowly starting to relax as I support her trembling body and rain kisses on her. Dang, we're really going into it, huh? We're really going into it, huh? Keeping a steady hold on her, I gently caress her back. I then trace the nape of her neck with my palm. I want to touch you more. Not happening, I can't stop myself anymore. How do I make this so this isn't transparent? Is there any way to do that? I don't think there is. <laughs> I don't know how to hide the text box. Because you already know. You already know something's going on here. Uh, doesn't look like I can do that. I'm sure you could escape if you really wanted to. 
Hugging her to prevent her from running away, I touch her body all over and she clings to me as she trembles. She's smaller than I thought. After having my fill of her neck and her back, I moved her. Oh, whoa, my guy. <laughs> See why I told you to leave? It's too late for that now. Yeah, sorry for making you worry. <laughs> wow, she didn't seem to like it, but she's not letting go of me. My palms repeatedly feel her up and her expression slackens. Why don't you leave then? Why would I? I want to stay like this forever. Whispering into her ear, my hands move under her uniform and touch her directly. Whoa, my guy. Her expression continues to relax as my hands travel over her smooth skin. I won't. Hmm? What is it? Ushio looks at me as she tries to resist. She just makes the most adorable faces. It'll be okay, just a little. Yeah, I won't go any further than that. Don't know if I believe him. So, so, so it is. I'm taking her lack of response as a yes. The more I touch her, the more she clings to me. That makes me so happy that my hands won't stop. After stroking her back, they move to the front and gently caress her belly and chest. <laughs> but you could, didn't flat out refuse either. Then why don't you say it clearly? If you won't, then I'm going to take it to mean that it's okay for me to continue. <laughs> Getting more and more aroused, I feel the sensation of her skin and the warmth of her body. Not only do I want to touch her, among other things, I want her to touch me too. Yeah, he's... he's getting a little into it. I want you to touch me. You won't? Then I'll keep touching you instead. I stare at her face and do exactly as I said I would. Every time I make contact with her, she trembles and holds me tighter. She also fervently... She's also fervently shaking her head. Then touch me. If you won't, then... Oh my gosh, he's getting into it. You touch me then? Yeah. <laughs> she looks hesitant, debating what the best course of action is. Seeing her like that only serves to rouse me further. In an attempt to curb it, I slide my hands across her smooth skin again. Alright then. She finally gives a proper answer and I free her from my embrace. I get her to sit beside me and start stripping myself. Whoa! Hey, yo! You said you touched me, no? Well, you can't touch me if I don't. What the hell? It literally went from a sex scene to this. Like, no joke. Just straight up. What is even going on right now? Did we seal that whole sex scene away? Because that'd be great. Supposed to be the new guy. Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, I, I don't think she had a problem with it from what I just saw. I don't think she had any problems with it. No, she won't be. I just hope we weren't too late. <笑>わかんなきゃ気にすんな。<笑> Wow, okay, that was very drastic. Just went from the other scene to that. Yep. 
I'm the worst. I feel terrible upon opening my eyes. No, terrible doesn't even begin to describe it. I'm no longer feeling those impulses which were causing me to suffer and do strange things. And this has probably been sealed. Of course, I still remember everything that's happened. Oh, thank goodness. I thought they were going to do a flashback to it. I'm like, please don't. I don't really know myself. I do know this is really cute. However, I want you to smile. How can I get you to do that? Oh, he definitely made her, sm her smile. He made her do a lot of things. An embarrassed Ushio chan. How adorable. I love you, Ushio. Ah, uh, that's not all. I can vividly recall the events of last night. Please don't show it. I don't want to have to censor it again. That was because of the mist. I've done something I can't take back. Ah, uh, what have I done? Oh, thank goodness. I don't have to censor anything more. A breaking statue. During lunch, I scoured the building for Muka. In the end, I find her not inside, but in the courtyard. It seems that she's having her tea out here instead. I watched for her for a while, and I think that... But how to go about things. I soon realize that there's nothing I can possibly do about it. Taking a deep breath to calm myself, I steal myself and walk up to her. <laughs> this is extremely awkward. She doesn't make eye contact with me. She's not even looking my way. However, I have to apologize for yesterday. It's probably a good idea. Take another deep breath and talk to her as calmly as possible. Uh, Mu, no, Shishigatani-san? I'm really, really sorry about what happened last night. Huh? I stared at her intently, surprised by her response. Her expression is the same as always. Her gaze is as cold as ever. There are no traces of panic of, of or yesterday's anger anywhere. Oh, you're just gonna pretend that didn't happen, okay? Has she forgotten all about it? Side effects of the mist, maybe. I don't know if the copyright in the situation I merely stare at her. She's acting all too normal. Well, uh... She doesn't think it warrants an apology. She liked it. That would be, um, if this was really sad, I think this would be cruel of me to make her remember it. I feel like a coward, but it's the best that I keep quiet. Force the words stuck in my throat back down. No, never mind. Forget I said anything. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I love when him and I have the same thoughts. Like, I literally said okay before it even popped up on the screen. We just had the same exact response. Responsibility for your speech and actions. Uh, I was trying to, but you said not to, so I agree. So, what do you want me to do? Not really up for arguing with her today. Also, she, has she really forgotten about it or she's just pretending that she has. From her behavior alone, I can't tell at all. Talking about this makes me remember what happened yesterday. I'm feeling really embarrassed right now. <laughs> Michi! Ushio-san! Hey, Maru. Maru comes up to us as Muko and I are talking. Having you around makes things much easier for me. Yokatta! Michi, chanto moto ni modotte ne. Yeah, you really gave it your all, didn't you? So da yo! Muraku mo senpai to asa haiku kara ganbatta nda kara! Muraku mo too, I see. I'm really sorry about everything. Nani itten da yo! Nakama wo tasukeru no wa atarimai da ro! Uh, I owe them both. <laughs> Him and Murakuma a lot. He's not exactly someone I'd consider strong, and he put a lot of effort into this. Karasuma-kun,お疲れ様でした。いえ、大丈夫です。それより、俺も特殊分質の仕事をようやくちゃんと手伝えたって気がします。And then I'm out here sleeping with the boss. そうですね。小学よりよほど頼りになります。I don't know. You considered me pretty reliable last night. <laughs>言いたいことがあるのなら、きちんと仕事をしてください。I know. <laughs> you said it, indeed. <laughs> Muka, did you say something? <laughs> My imagination, huh? I think it's really interesting, this angle. It's almost like they're trying to hide something with it. Am I the only one who was thinking that? No, I probably shouldn't read too much into it. I'm not entirely sure whether those feelings I felt back then were fabricated by the mist or not. It's obviously better that I don't try to think about that. I'll be working with Muko tomorrow at the Bureau for the, uh, for the investigation of special affairs for some time to come, so it's for the best. Although I'll probably be drowning in guilt for the foreseeable future. Oh, please just end it right there, because it was great. It's an interesting Ushio route. Thanks for playing. Yep, that was technically the Ushio end. Uh, I think there's a normal end we have to get, so I want to see what that's like. And then there's a bad end we can get. I'd like to see that as well. Let's go, baby! SSS! 
Well, I used uh, I used the walkthrough, so of course I got it. Of course I got the top rank. I don't know what she's saying. Where's the subtitles? I'm hearing Daisuke like like? Like you like somebody? Honestly, Look here to see your reward CG. Internet connection required? I'm scared. Okay, it's taking me to the internet. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll put a picture of this on screen for you guys to see. It's, it's just a picture of Rito. It's kind of cute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and download that right now. I'm sure you could get this off the internet if you really wanted to. Okay, I went ahead and downloaded that. Go ahead and return to the title here. I wonder if the title screen is going to change at all. Is it going to stay the same? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show off the bad ending. I don't think the normal ending was all that different than what happened. I think we just got to go further with Ushio um, as far as relationship-wise. So we got to kind of see some more content there but we're gonna go ahead and wait and see how things go we don't know what the guy in white's planning so instead of just rushing in right away this is us just kind of holding back the guy in white lugs muko along and throws her beside a giant column hmm, let's go having noticed us approaching he turns around to face us Tsubaki-chan speaks before me, however, he makes a move before she gets the chance to finish her sentence. What was that? He points his fingers, which look dull and metallic, at us. Not knowing who he really is, I stand poised to defend myself, but he doesn't come any closer. <laughs> what? He says a lot of names one after another, his fingertips start giving off an eerie glow. I can't move. My entire body feels like it's frozen. I can't move an inch. The guy in white slowly approaches us while we're taken aback. Lifting up the immobile Amaro, he places him inside the enormous magic circle behind him. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Naturally, he ignores me and proceeds to drag me. Is this some sort of ritual? What are you? I try my best to resist him, but I can't move at all, probably due to the effects of a miss. Damn it! Hey, Muko! Amaru! Lucky John! The two who are thrown in the magic circle before me are lying there motionless as if they were asleep. He forcefully pushes me on the back without saying a word, and unable to resist, my body slowly falls on top of the magic circle. Da da da! And that's the end. We just gonna wake up like nothing happened? Huh? Huh? Opening my eyes, I can see that I'm in my room. Yeah, that's crazy in the hallway. Nah, nothing has happened. I don't I don't remember anything for the past few days. I'm trying to recall anything in my groggy state of mind, right? We're currently in the middle of an investigation. Or are we trying to figure out why Murakuma and the other students collapsed in the hallway? Wait, doesn't that mean we got hit with the same thing? What the hell? Mm. Wow, wild. Nope, can't remember anything either. We were supposed to be looking into what happened with Murakuma, but now the same things happened to us. Did we mess up somewhere? What was I doing? And then, the principal deemed this to be an accident and ordered us to stop investigating to prevent any further harm. In the end, we never figured out what happened. Gosh, could you imagine if that was the ending? That would be so stupid. <laughs> That'd be so bad. But there you go. 
that's the ending. I don't know if the normal ending had anything. I tried to get to the normal ending, and I don't think it really had much difference. At least not that I could tell, so I'm not even going to cover it. But I want to throw this bonus in here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say my final thoughts. Hmm. Okay, so I really did enjoy the game. I think it was a little slow to start. I think there was a lot of things that had me interested. And I was really waiting for the game to pick up. And I'm hoping now that we're done with the first game, it'll have picked up from here. I'm hoping that after this point, we're really going to start seeing some things happen in the second story and in the third. I want to see where the game's going. Because clearly they've set up the kind of world building and premise. I know a lot of first games tend to do that. And I think we've gotten to see that with this one. I think we've finally seen uh, what can happen. So we know about all the magic stones down there, and if it gets in the wrong hands, it can be bad. I'm assuming there's going to be some villains. I'm assuming there's going to be some other people. I kind of assumed the principal was kind of a villain, but I guess not. Uh, she just kind of operates in such a weird way that makes her look really suspicious, like she's a villain. Um, as far as routes go, I think the common route was pretty strong. Uh... At times, I almost wished I could just go through the common route and get through it quicker because I was really interesting and I liked uh, finding out what happens. But you kind of needed the the side routes to kind of get more of the story. Um, Burr, yes, was okay. You guys kind of know my thoughts on that one. I wasn't like the hugest fan of it. It was just kind of... I don't know. It was just a lot of Furry uh, talking about how much she's into us and then having these little like side conversations with herself. Uh, and then Ushio's kind of turned into a little bit of, not, not quite the same, but it was kind of Mimi like that. I think Tsubaki's was probably the more romantic one. I actually like that one probably the best. Uh, Ushio's, I think, isn't going to get too far into it. Uh, only because I think she's going to be the main character, probably. You know, the main love interest, that is, for the next two games. So I'm thinking they'll probably give us a little bit more in each um, of her endings if she does have an ending in each game. So I'll probably wait and see that. There'll probably be a little less meme as we go. I'm sure the second one will be a little bit more romantic and the third will be, you know, like a true end type thing. So I'll wait to see that. But overall, I really enjoyed the game. I've already got the next two games ready. So I'll be playing those at some point. You know, it takes me a while to get through games. But I'm excited for those two and I'm going to be doing an extra video for the uh, little bonus scenes. They have some H stuff in them, so I'm just going to cut that out. But otherwise, I'll try to show the dialogue and just kind of my reaction to it. It'll be kind of a farewell for the characters. So I'll be having a video on that if you guys haven't already seen it. Uh, but besides that, I'm going to say goodbye to the Borderline of Dusk. We're going to be moving on to the next game, which is title I don't remember. And uh, I'm excited to be playing that here soon. So... Anyways, guys, appreciate you. I hope you've been enjoying following along with me in the series. And I'll see you when I continue the rest. Have a good one.